Hey, Michael here for Beer Baseball Blog, the adventure of craft beer and baseball. It is the Beer Baseball Blogcast episode 34 for December 22nd, 2020. Wherever you are watching us live today, please give us a like and a comment. Uh, let us know that you're out there and Merry Christmas to everybody. Um, hopefully we made it to the end of the year. This is really, really uh, special for us. And we're all wearing our Christmas attire. <laughs> well, I, well, I got red and green on. There you go. Yeah. Exactly. Never so uh, it's, it's a great day. We're really glad um, that you all could join us today. And uh, yeah, we're going to have some fun today. We're going to switch it up a little bit. Um, and we're going to, we're still going to have a lot of uh, fun segments, but we're going to actually have uh, a gift, ex gift exchange. We're going to have um, some uh, baseball card pack wars, uh, which we'll lead into for uh, next uh Next week, uh, we have a big, uh, uh, I guess it's the World Series of Pack Wars, right? <laughs> we're we're going hey, yeah, to yeah, yeah. You got to cover your own name. You know, we might, we don't want to get in trouble. It's like yeah. when they called that football game the end of January, the big game. The big game. Exactly. Yeah. So we Not definitely have the other name. Yes, we, we definitely uh, want you to join us. And and uh, we actually have the name game, which I can't wait to play. Um, mm -hmm. It's a special surprise for y'all. Oh, um, boy. But yeah, like I'm looking, but I'm looking forward to the gift exchange. Um, but let's get some uh, some house um, house cleaning done before this. We want to thank oh. our Patreon supporter, Cowboy Jack Durango. Thank you so much for uh, supporting us. Uh, if you're going to uh, support us on Patreon, I suggest that you wait till the first of the year, maybe the first week of January, so you get the full uh, month. Um, but thank you, Jack, for being our first Patreon supporter. Um, we love you, and uh, you know, Merry Christmas. We wish we, that we could have a, a beer with you, but soon enough, we will definitely do that. We now, boy, Jack has promised us that we can somehow get in the pool. Yeah, he has, he has access COVID to the pool. pool. I don't know how that is, but we'll, we'll make COVID it happen. COVID pool is awaiting me. All right. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, as always, you can always uh, support us on our Etsy store. Just uh, look for Bear Baseball on Etsy.com. So here is the lineup card for today. Angelo Trinidad from Aliso Viejo, California. Welcome, Angelo. Hello, everyone. Kevin Lyon from Anaheim, California. Welcome, Good. Kevin. Good evening. Happy to be here. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays and, and all that. And I am Michael Mondragon. I'm from Sierra Madre, California. And uh, our fun fact question for today to both of you is, what is your favorite Christmas movie? So, Angelo, uh, you can go first. Man, there's there's so many because um, I, I love Christmas movies. Um, this is one of my favorite times of the year. And we have some household staples uh, that we watch every single year. But I think, uh, for me, the, my, my favorite is Elf. Oh, um, I just and, happen to have a slide for that. <laughs> and uh, and, I have, wow. and I have a and I have a newfound love for Elf because uh, my oldest son Lucas um, really enjoys the movie. We actually went to the drive-in for his birthday last last month and watched Elf. And my two-year-old Levi saw it for the first time, and he could not stop cracking up. So uh, a whole new a uh, whole new meaning and perspective for that movie. But we love it. Um, but Christmas, uh, Christmas movies are a, a Trinidad household staple this time of year for sure. So, ah, I love it. And uh, uh, the great Artie Lang is also in the very beginning of that movie as well. And Bob Newhart. And yep. uh, if you, uh, for yeah, some yeah, of the yeah, yeah, out there, guy, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that guy. I, <laughs> so, uh, Kevin, you forgot, is it James Caan? James Caan, of, of course. course. Well, I don't consider him like a comedy actor, but uh, I just consider him an actor, sir, like one of the best actors. Come on, isn't your son named after his character in Rollerball? <laughs> well, well, you know, I, I actually I was going to name him uh, another person that's in that movie, Ed Asner. Ah, there you go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I was, that that was going to be his first name. Yes, definitely. <laughs> All right, Kevin, you're up. Oh, I'm up. Well, as much as later on in life. I learned to love Gremlins. I would almost like to say that nowadays, but that could be controversial. Be like, is that a Christmas movie? I'm like, yes, it is. Much like Die Hard. But one that I saw as a kid that, you know, I don't know if they still do the, the marathon all day on Christmas on TBS and TNT. I think it was TBS is Christmas Story. I'm old enough to where I saw that in the theater when it first came out. And I think 82, I want to say. I might be slightly, I might, is there 82 or 83 at the latest? It was actually November 18th, 1983. Oh, it was 83. All right. So yes. there we go. Yes, a budget of three point three million, a uh, box office was twenty million, and I remember at the time it was considered kind of a bust. 
And uh, it was, and I remember seeing it in the movie theater when it when it came out. Oh, you did too. That's that's funny. <laughs> yeah, and it, and and uh, only through time has it uh, kind of gotten a lot more uh, credibility. And you know, I, I loved it at the time. I didn't like it as much, but now I love it a lot more. Um, but I actually have a baseball related Christmas story story. Are you ready for this? Um, Let's see. Okay. What do you got? So Peter Billingsley, who you're seeing right here, was the uh, the star of this movie. Now, Peter Billingsley was also Messy Marvin from the Hershey <laughs> syrup commercials. Oh my gosh. Okay. So he I knew this before. There. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I, I knew this beforehand. Uh, and so I was at a, a Little League baseball game and I had a friend. Uh, his name was. Um, uh, was it a uh, Dan Bales? I think it was his name. So Dan was just, he was, uh, Dan would probably be more of a student more than an athlete. And he was, um, but he was on my baseball team and we, we, he came early to our, one of our games. Um, and, and we were kind of getting ready to, you know, play the game. And there was a lone kid sitting on some bleachers. And so, so, <laughs> Very astutely, one of my other teammates goes, "Is that Messy Marvin? Because it looked like just like Messy Marvin." And and uh, it turns out it was Peter Billingsley. <laughs> he actually went to school with Dan. Uh, like uh, so, Peter like during his acting would actually just do more tutoring than actually going to school. Mm -hmm. So he it was a part of uh, some sort of higher learning class that Dan went to. So Dan goes, Hey, you want to come to my baseball game? So he sat and watched our baseball game. <laughs> and, and I think this would have been 83 or 84 wow, so in right Phoenix, there. Arizona. So if I'd, I actually, be, if I'd be 83, because after the movie came out, they, everyone would have known him, you know? Yeah, totally. And he was mo known more for being messy Marvin than he was for being in Christmas story. So that, That's that is my Peter Billingsley <laughs> run in. Yeah. So he, he, he the in Phoenix. yeah, totally. Uh, I have another, I have another, um, grade school story, uh, from blues brothers. Uh, I'm going to try to work that in one day. All right. I actually knew somebody who was in blues brothers. Very good. So, so in 1983 also is my Christmas movie, which was <laughs> trading places. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, oh, you see, I, 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 maybe I should have just went with gremlins just, to, just to, for the rib or die hard, you know? <laughs> yeah. People don't, wouldn't consider this a Christmas movie, but I hundred percent do. There was a lot of Christmas scenes in it. It was all mm -hmm. based around Christmas. Yeah. And, um, for a 13 year old boy, um, and Jamie Lee Curtis is in the movie, um, <laughs> that between that and stripes, which I think came out in 91, it was a definitely coming of age. Movie. Oh, stri yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. For me. I, Angela, yeah, I was too young to appreciate some parts of Stripes. Little, yeah. When I was about 13 or 40, I saw it. Like, oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Angelo, are you familiar with Trading Places? Absolutely. And uh, even though I, I was just born when this movie uh, came out, I uh, ended up watching it later on in life. And uh, Eddie Murphy, one of my all time favorite actors, as well as Dan Aykroyd, you know, being a fan of the, the Ghostbuster series. But. Mm -hmm. um, that's funny. I, I like your your Jamie Lee Curtis reference. I actually um, have a funny Jamie Lee Curtis story that I can squeeze in right now, because um, when I was when I was a, um, a store manager, I was going through applications of um, uh, for applicants for for the holidays, and I came across this application. I'm looking at good experience. Then I look at the references. The first reference listed jamie lee curtis what i kid you not <laughs> you're like i gotta so, call that reference so it's like i was like man do i do i but i didn't end up even interviewing the kid nor oh. nor do end up hiring him but uh, i th that was definitely uh that was definitely a funny moment I'm thinking about putting that on my references. That'll be my third reference. I'll have my real ones on top, but Jamie yeah. Lee Curtis. Jamie, Jamie Lee Curtis, yeah. Yeah, she got me here. <laughs> and it's I and, almost uh, and, it, and, and it oh. was uh, you know, the, for references, it'll say like relationship, you know, like you know, and put like former boss, former mm -hmm. coworker. It was aunt. So it was, oh, it was Jamie Lee wow. Curtis's nephew. Yeah. Wow. Well, that, I, that would probably make sense. What were you gonna yeah. say, Kevin? I was gonna say, um, Hey, you know that Dan Aykroyd was in uh, Trade Places. Wasn't he also in Blues Brothers? Yes, he was. Yes, he was. <laughs> Speaking of Blues Brothers, somehow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Try to bring it back to you somehow. 
So wanted to give some shout outs to some people. Obviously, uh, Mr. Excitement, Ed Brown, Merry Christmas to you. Can, um, can I cut in real quick? I'm yeah, jumping on because Mr. Uh, Ed Brown actually dropped off something with me literally at 5.30 before we started the show tonight. He brought this, an, un, an unopened 1989 Bowman set, complete wow. set, and a 1991 Upper Deck Final Edition set. Look at that. Old, so he gave that to me on behalf for the beer baseball gang. Oh, that is awesome. Thank you. Thank I you so much. I want to that mentioned his name there. So there we go. Perfect. Definitely. So Cowboy Jack, um, thank you. Merry Christmas to you. Uh, also, happy Hanukkah. We don't want to yeah. leave anybody out. And uh, I believe that he says happy Kwanzaa. Oh, very good. <laughs> uh, David, next thank week you. We celebrate Boxing Day. You know? That's right. That's right. We'll definitely get our Canadian friends in there. Uh, David, uh, Colin, thank you so much for joining. Bubble Pug, Chad M., Thank everyone. you for joining us. I, I definitely a great supporter of the beer baseball blog. Not everyone uh, here. Yeah. And um, yeah. So, uh, so let's, let's, let's get to it. Um, let's do the beer baseball block as gift exchange. I definitely want to make a uh, mention of your sweater. Show me your sweater, uh, Kevin. Okay. So this is the Everett. Uh, oh, sorry. Everett Aqua Socks. They made a Christmas sweater and I was like, I'm like, I now will have a baseball sweater. So. I, I that had to is, get a baseball. That's awesome. And, and you went to go see them last year, I right? I saw their opening gay game last season. Um, and actually was the first game of them uh, under the new name of Funko Field. Because those are affiliate who are aware of Funko Pops. They're actually based out of Everett. We actually went to, um, they have a gigantic store in downtown along with the factory is. And it's down the street. They had just bought the rights for like four or five years to have the name Funko Field. And that night they gave away a Funko of the mascot. Oh, that, that's, that's super cool. Yeah. And so I like, yeah. I want to support a minor league team and get that. <laughs> yeah. So I just have the regular uh, Christmas ugly sweater with some robots on it. But I do have the, um, yeah, this is uh, the Colorado. Uh, why, why am I, why am I yeah, spacing uh, out uh, on it? Yeah. Rocky Mountain vibe. The Rocky is Mountain it? vibes. I always want to say the Colorado something. And it's like, it's actually yeah, not Colorado. Uh, Rocky Mountain vibe. There you go. But yeah. So like uh, marshmallow roasting right there. As, Very as good. So I just have to represent. I don't think I've awesome. won this hat before. Um, so either. definitely want to go. And then you got, you, you got your green and red on Angelo. Yeah. So I'm you're representing. Yeah. I got my Portland roses uh, baseball from baseballism shirt. Yeah. I love that shirt. I think that's so cool. So who wants to go first in this? And um, Hey, I have a question. Are you guys thirsty? Yes, of course. Of course. We, we, we skipped over the, what are you drinking? But well, hopefully we can well, uh, compensate for that. Well, you know, if anybody watches the show, they saw it, a really heavy box that came in for me one Tuesday about, I think two, three weeks ago. So if you guys will pull out your, I, I didn't get fancy here, your shopping bags. Get right. Oh yeah. Look at that. You can tell I have a feeling. I think you guys have a feeling what's in here, right? <laughs> I think you're thirsty. Am I correct? I think that I, I think if we know you, you and who you are, you you actually got a whole bunch of uh, these types of presents from your coworkers. Yes, I was just throwing that off uh, backstage. Like, yep, I got a lot of. I think all my gifts for Christmas are gonna be beer and baseball related. Coincidentally well, enough, this is gonna so, be fun. All yeah, right. so let's just open this up. Um, Angela won't. I don't think Angela's gonna be aware of what this is from, but this is a brewery that's out of uh, San Jose. And if there's anything that is a brewery that is beer and baseball related, it's Strike Ooh. Brewing. So they had a holiday sale where I was able to get um, six, six four packs. So this is six different beers for each of you guys. The hard part was everyone gets a double. So that was the hard part, figuring out what the double is going to be. Wow. So, this is awesome. Yeah, so Strike got, Brewing. Yeah, they're based out of sales and all baseball related. Yeah, so we got strike down. Yeah, can you which is one a, of us? We can see everything. We yeah, definitely. Wet hop, let me get wet hop lager. Yeah, we I got, So we got rained out, which is a wet hop lager. We got the wheat spot, which is a German style half. I got a double of the rained out, and then we have the happy holidays hazy double IPA. Uh, we got the uh, major haze hazy pale ale, two seam IPA. Uh, we got the big wall, which is uh, imperial, imperial stout. stout. Yep. And then uh, I got a double of the major haze. And you see, I like that too. They did the major league style logo. Yep. Yeah, so these I are will, great. So I'm gonna crack open a rained out. 
All right. Yeah, that's the hardest part. Being like, what do I open? No. <laughs> I might well, you go. Know for rained out's a good way to start because you know what? 2020 got rained out for a lot of people, unfortunately. Yes, sir. This is awesome. Thank you so yep. much, Kevin. Oh, you're welcome. You know what? Let's let's, let's all let's. I'm gonna. Oh, get ready for the happy holidays. I'm gonna do the happy holidays. All right. Well, I'm gonna have a rained out with Angela. Then I'm gonna have my uh, hol happy holidays after that. Because I know I'm gonna go through this pretty quick. <laughs> How's that logger? Good. It's uh, this logger is a. Uh, five. 5, 25 IBU. So nice, easy drinking way to start our holiday show. And cheers, Merry Christmas, everybody. Happy holidays and all that. Yeah. Yeah, all this right. is great. That's now, good. this is this kind of leads into while we're while I'm pouring this, it's um I wanted to say like next week we're we're doing an all uh baseball card pack wars. Yes. But we're also going to uh do we haven't really super decided on this. I know that we're gonna pick our beers of the year. But oh. should we pick our top three? Um, yeah, I think I think so too because there's been yeah. so many this yeah. year that we've had. I think this will be um, so ninety nine. What one hundred and two? Yeah, so it, 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 it be like ones that we've had. Like there's some you had. That I'm like, oh, that looks great. But how would I know if it's a top three if I haven't tried it too? You know? Yeah. Well, I'm like, exactly. So we should have them individually for sure. Yeah. Um, yeah, but this is, this is the, uh, the hazy double. Oh my gosh, I didn't even realize this. It's an eight point two. Yeah. Wow, I got one of those. But the IBU I remember was that not being that high on it's, that. It's, it's pretty low in, at thirty, yeah. but it's still um, pretty impressive. Yeah, and I, that was a cool looking can. The hard part was literally like it just says just pick any six, and I'm like, okay, I gotta go for a wide variety because I saw a bunch of IPAs. I'm like, I can't do that to Angelo. I can't give them all IPAs. Let's all just pick some. Let's all get a good variety of stuff. So, cheers, guys! Yeah. Merry Thank Christmas. you so much. We, I really appreciate it, Kevin. And and uh, what a, what a what a thoughtful gift to the man uh, that loves beer to get yeah, some and, uh, and baseball some, because you know if, there's any, if 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 this brew was closer to us, oh my goodness, we'd be in trouble. <laughs> yeah, eight point two. That is serious business. Yeah, you're not messing around. Actually, and there, there's there's a stout in here too, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah the, that's the, the, the big, big wall, wall. That's nine. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah, so I, up, and I have not, in there. I have not had a stout this year, so um, oh, I don't think right. I, I will because I don't well, unless I do it next week, which I, which I, I could very you well know, could I do. Mean, yeah, we'll spread it out. I do have a goal next year for the show, Michael. In that I, I want to do a different brewery every week. That's my really that's my big goal. That, I'm not going to try to do 52 beers. I'm going to try to do 52 different breweries. Very nice. Very uh, nice. All the, all the IBUs on these are relatively low, so yeah, uh, I'm okay with that. Yeah, so uh, we actually, Kevin, did you go up to Strike Brewing? Did you go in there when you yeah, were up there? Yeah, I actually did. Uh, the last time I went to San Jose, um, I went to a day game up there. It was like one of those random Wednesday games. Or I think it was a Thursday game at like 11 or 12 o'clock in the day. So afterwards, I'm like, well, I'll stay in San Jose for the night. And it literally, it's a mile or so walk from the ballpark. So I just walked over there after. Checked awesome. out, hung out there, had a few. And I'm like, all right. This is a good day. <laughs> yeah. And you can get that beer at, at the game. Uh, when I went, though, that it was closed. It, actually it some was of the closed when I went, too, yeah. unfortunately. No, so yeah. I, I didn't get the Chinese strike until I actually went to um, I went to the, the site. Uh, the only thing we would have tried before was they actually make a beer based off the Santa Cruz uh, skateboard company. Yes. They're using that the one with the Santa hand. Cruz yeah, yeah, the hand. Yeah, exactly. Super cool. The hand. Uh, there's an eye right. in the hand. And yeah. I think you have to go to, uh, last time I went to Total Wine, too, they actually had another beer of theirs. They actually had a beer at Total Wine of theirs called Warning Track. So oh, they're all, cool. almost everything is like baseball themed name. It's really cool. Yeah. So I want I, the, uh, the other one I want to work with that I, I saw in Milwaukee was a Broken Bat Brewing. Yeah. Uh, I definitely oh, yeah. want to uh, do any any partnership with them. Yeah, because they some other like a real strawberry sour. And I was like, this is fantastic. <laughs> yeah. yeah all their beers are really good. And yeah. uh, the Kevin Euclid's, um uh, brewery as well in Loma. Yes. I definitely would love to work yeah, with that. I'm putting, that, I'm putting that out to the universe. There. Yes, exactly. So you guys have gifts uh, from me, which um, you can now open. I think there's a couple of them. All right. Well, which I mean, which one should we do first? Uh, uh, do 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 the um, the longer box or the, the one we US got yesterday? Yes, box. Yeah, and the do, do the bigger one after. Okay. The bigger so, box. Okay, so, this one. So we're doing this one or the this one from Ed Brown Road? Uh, no, no, the other one, the other one. This one, okay. Okay, because I'm like, wait, you said the other one. Uh, I'm like, who's talking to me or him? I made sure to show uh, Mr. Excitement his 
The name of the road is Ed Brown Road, which is his name. So that definitely humored me when I got this. All right. Let me know when you're ready, Angelo. I'm just peeling the tape off, so let me get Okay. It. No worries. I'm, I'm already ready. It, it kind of looks like – oh, never mind. I'm not going to see what this is. I feel like I can light this up, but that's a joke. For <laughs> the wrong, wrong podcast. Sorry. All right. Okay. Okay. So let's. Um, is let's, this let a rib? Is this a, is this a giant? Is this, is this a giant tootsie roll? <laughs> oh, that, that's yes. a nice way of phrasing it. Yes. Right. You went He's cleaner good. than I did. Yeah. <laughs> it does, I went the, it does I went the other direction. Sorry. All right. Mm -hmm. I gotta be very careful what this looks like. All right. All right. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, this oh, something fell out. <laughs> Ken Griffey Jr., kid, yeah. favorite baseball player, good callback. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Me. So this this oh, is this from a artist named uh, Jason Drumheller, and then there's there's Kevin to the the, the, the uh, George Brett. I I wanted to give you a little color back there, Kevin. You got you need to put something behind you, uh, back that back behind awesome. you. Not be, not directly behind you. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I got George. I'll just be like this. I'll look better. I look more handsome now. Yeah, so that this is, is awesome. a this is an artist. Uh, I actually got something for Hall of Fame baseball cards with a Ricky Henderson. I love this guy's art so much. I actually uh, learned of him from. He's actually an artist. He does a lot of stuff for the Baltimore Orioles, and um, I actually would love to get him on a hoppy hour uh, in the future. I'm putting that out uh, to the universe as well. Hopefully, uh, I'll definitely let him know that that we have this. But I I really love his art. It's something that, um, as an art, a graphic artist myself, I really am envious of him because he's uh, picked up a style that I really like and I really love. Yeah, that's really I thought nice. that that would be really cool. And uh, so, yeah, so definitely maybe uh, figure out how to position it behind you and and uh, make when yeah. you guys make your video. Oh, King of KC. Okay, that's what it says on this yes, too. Yes. I, yeah, no, mine, no, the, no, no, mine says, mine says George Brett because of the the yeah, great story. Yeah, I know the story. Uh, is that going to be in our references this week? George Brett's story? <laughs> I should definitely put it in there. <laughs> so what do you that's think? Awesome. What do you think about the fire incident, ladies and gentlemen? Yeah. <laughs> that's a good story, too. This uh, is awesome. Michael, before we go to your other gift, uh, you want to do Angelo's or how do you want to do this? We have one from Angelo, too. How do you, you want to book this? Oh, yeah. I, I mean, well, it, they're all, I, I think uh, we can all open them it together. All, that way, um, it yeah. all kind of blends together. Yep. I, I have a feeling it would. All right. Where's my. Michael Mondragon, other gift. Oh, that's that's not the one. I have so much stuff here. We're so disoriented with all these gifts. I was like, Whoa, where do I start? Where do I start? All right. Oh wow! Look at all this. So a, a oh, bit yeah. of a booty of uh, this. Oh, this is awesome. The, the oh, is this, more is more packs, more packs coming for the for the pack wars. Ah, uh, whatever. I'm not just tear us apart. So we uh, got we got some more 2020 pro woo, debut. Oh goodness, that's a, oh man, woo! Look at all that. Oh, oh yeah, there's a, there's a lot in there. Donruss optic, prism. Yeah, show what you got. We'll go in order. We'll go around. We'll yeah, show you off here. 2020 and, Bowman. Yeah. Stadium Club and uh, Select. Panini Select. Wow. So this, is this all going to go in the uh, the grab bag? Well, I, I figure next week we'll we're um, – we'll, 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 we'll save these for next week. All right. So, so my, my thought is for next week – so I gave you a guy, I gave you a whole bunch of them. So yeah, I, like, I, I, I'm going to look at a moment here. I was going to look at Angela's – what Angela got for me I here. there's four different kinds in there. There's actually one pack. I think it's like 2020, like school something. Top uh, of the class. Top of the class. That's what it is. Okay. So what I thought next week that we would do is, is okay. So there's we're I'm, we're gonna play nine rounds um, of, of baseball card pack wars. So yes. technically there there's one, two, three, four, five, right through nine. We're gonna randomize that. So every round, like first round, could be worth nine. Second round could be worth seven. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, and do it like that. So so it kind of switches it up. Then we also randomize what the packs are. Uh, oh, okay. and, and so we can get it in there so we can get some varied packs in there. Cool. 
And um, yeah, so it'd be, it'd be fun. I know that a lot of people like look, uh, watching the baseball card pack yeah, wars. We have nine different kind of pack. If we have nine different packs, that'd be fun. Yeah. Yeah. So um, it should be a lot of fun. It's going to be totally loose uh, format uh, next week, but uh, two things on the line. Um, uh, the baseball card pack wars winner of 2020 yep. And, um, well, I guess not so much on the line, but, you know, revealing what our beers of the year are. So what, that's what is funny is that my beer of the year might be the beer next week. <laughs> okay. That, that's, that, that works. That works. <laughs> Cause you know, the, you know, the beer, I, the beer I'm going to be giving you guys is like one of my absolute favorite beers. Oh, so, uh, this is interesting. Is there a PO box where, uh, fans of the beer baseball broadcast can mail cards? Um, yes, we actually do have a PO box. Uh, I will put that, um, in the comments in just a second. Um, thank you for that. that that'd be awesome. And also, you know, the, what we're going to use our Patreon for is, you know, uh, supplying our habit of baseball cards so we can actually see them and everything. Um, and also, uh, hopefully we can make some partnerships with some, uh, some breweries and uh, review some more beers and stuff like that. And, you know, fr from this point on, it's been out of our pocket, which is, uh, you know, it gets up there. Oh yeah. That Ellen Ginter's. Awesome. I, yeah, I'm just, I know I'm, I'm just, gonna, I'm just showing up an Angelo got what I got in the Angelo box. Oh, I haven't got one of these. Actually, I think this is all new for me. 2020 tops gallery. Yeah. You, can, you can type the thing in the comment while I just show these off. Okay. Oh, go for it. Queen. Ooh, nice. That's my favorite. Yeah. One of my favorite I, sets. I, I've seen what those look like. I'm like, Oh, I never got any. Uh, I don't know if we've done any tops fire yet. I think maybe somebody did. I don't know I yet. I got, I, I got top fire. That was a, right. um, so. a retail. And exclusive. these we've opened on the show before, but heritage series two and archives. Very good. Thank you, Angelo. Yeah. You're and, welcome. Uh, yeah. Thank you so much. From Michael. Yeah. yeah this is our, this is our PO box. So, um, if you, um, want to send anything, we'll definitely uh, open it up and please, you know, include your name and we'll definitely plug you out. And, uh, and give you, uh, give you some props for that. Cause we definitely, uh, uh, actually <laughs> baseball card packs now are getting pretty expensive. Awesome. Yeah. Only time I, uh, it's not my ball. Like, Whoa, wow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They're getting idea? to be like eight to like $12 and, you know, okay. sometimes up to like 60 or $70. Oh, well, I'm happy to get some more pro debuts. Yeah, we got more pro debuts. debuts. Well, that yeah. actually turned out to be one. And actually, this actually turned out to be Ooh, one of my favorite I'm, series of 2020 is the Heritage yeah, Minor League. I knew that that would be good. I, I knew that you would and, like that a lot. And I'm a big my, I, I, I mean, I was really, really into collecting Minor League cards as a kid. Um, so it's cool to get this because back in like the late 80s, early 90s, like was like the was when they experimented with actually doing like packs, you know, individual sets because it would always be, um, you know, just the team sets that you'd get. Very cool. Then, Thank you, gentlemen. And then more big league baseball, obviously. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we, Thank we'll, you, Michael. We'll take uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, prepaid cards. Uh, we'll take that as far as, as baseball cards. And and right, you're right. Kevin has so many mouths to feed. Yeah, yeah. He's he's a deadbeat dad, aren't you? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know what? Ed would know. Ed would know. <laughs> yeah. Yep. And uh, yeah, making it rain for for <laughs> for sure. Okay. <laughs> Now let's what? do it. Well, oh, let's God, play some baseball board. card pack wars. Let's oh, let's goodness. do this. Well, we're saying we're, I'm not touching those till next week. All right, what do we got? So, as always, uh, we encourage you um, yeah. to get your baseball cards from ba Hall of Fame baseball cards in Arcadia, California, hofbc.com. These are the pack war standings. So, Kevin, um, even though I have two more wins than you, uh, you came in and just came in and got two wins. Yes, uh, last week I got two points last week. Yeah, yeah. I know. That, so, um, so it's it's a it's a heated race, uh, three thirty nine to three thirty three. Angelo still in the hunt. I think the uh, the last day it's going to be um, definitely uh, separate the men from the boys uh, on that. So that that'll be a lot of fun. These are the baseball card pack wars rules. We're going to open our packs. A relic card knocks out one player of choice. Autograph card knocks out two players. High number card wins in round one and two. The first and second round are worth one point. Third round is our wild card round. Uh, it's worth two points. And uh, we all drink when we get a Brewers card. Uh, Cowboy Jack Durango is uh, drinking, has been drinking continuously uh, for 34 shows. So uh, good for you, Jack. Thank you for being here. <laughs> all right so let's do it who wants to go for actually uh kevin why don't you go first because uh, all right we got big, big winner big baseball 
we've got some good we've gotten some good pulls from these lately. So let's see if we can keep it going here. Yeah. So let me uh, do this really quickly. There we go. All right. Let's see what we got here. We got uh, Kevin Kiermeyer. I'm going to butcher his name. Kiermeyer. Kiermeyer, yeah. Kiermeyer. All right. We got a highlight card of uh, Jordan Alvarez. Yeah, he's doing all right for himself. Let's see. We got Robbie Ray. Uh, Jorge Soler. Nice. Pete Alonzo. Uh, my flipping out card is Aristides Aquino. Nice. And my uh, orange card is Evan Longoria. We got a highlight card of Mr. Mike Trout. Oh, I'm going to take a trip to right field and go to Cole's corner. <laughs> and pitching out with uh, Mr. 300 Mookie Betts. Nice. Nice. All right, Angelo, you're up. All right, Big League Baseball 2020. Nothing like a, the sound of a fresh rip. Oh. Whoa, whoa, calm down there. <laughs> <laughs> whoa. All right, so we got Big League's best uh, 2019 American League ERA leaders, Garrett Cole, Justin Verlander, and Charlie Morton. We got Eduardo Escobar, Rafael Devers, Alex Young, Jose Ramirez, uh, star caricature reproduction of Ronald Acuna Jr. The kid's supposed to be pretty good. Yeah, he's mm -hmm. fine. We got an orange parallel of uh, Shane Don't Call Me Justin Bieber. <laughs> we got Mike Clevinger. And we got Brendan Rogers. And uh, AL saves leaders, uh, Roberto Asunia, Aroldis Chapman, and Brad Hand. So uh, it's been dry so far. No brewers. First uh -oh. two packs. Sorry, don't yeah. worry. Jack's still drinking. Rule 8 applies at all times. All right. Let's Look at Michael have to show off that new camera angle he's got. <laughs> Look at him. Exactly. Oh, looks good. Looking good. Trying to get some better uh, card views. Uh, Cody Bellinger. Chris Sale. The Taylor. The Taylor. Uh, big League Best run RBI leaders, uh, Rendon, Freeman, and Alonzo. Ah, oh, not, not Yelly. Former Cy Young Award winner, Blake Snell. Ronald Acuna Jr. Highlights. Matt Chapman, Defensive Wizards. My orange parallel is Bo Bichette. Nice. We're going to have the whole series of this, by the way. We're going to have the whole. Yeah. Oh, I know. Uh, Mike Fires, uh, no hitter. Oh, right uh, on. There was no pine tar anywhere on his body during this game. Um, <laughs> I, I say that sarcastically. Uh, Christian Walker. And Xander Bogarts. Oh, man. We're, we have no brewers, unfortunately. No brewers. But um, so we're looking for high card, correct? Yeah. I To clarify, when I said Mr. 300 talking about Mookie Betts, I wasn't talking about his card. I was talking about his bowling ability. All right? Just, just <laughs> but you guys can be in trouble here because I do have the Yodan Alvarez's 296. Ooh, that's going to be hard to beat. And that I beats, got two nine three in case you, you know you in case you know you can't that beats beat that. that beats my two seven three. So yeah. Well, I have a Ronald Acuna who is oh, three hundred. You got the kill card. That's right. The kill card. Very good, Michael. Out three hundred. I had two in the two nineties. I still couldn't pull it off. Ah, All right, I put it up there. Three hundred. I saw it on my other. That's the kill card. Okay, so uh, what what are we doing this time? Uh, we're in the, in the wild card. Yeah. Okay, so, come on, you're on. A, you got you got the kill card. Come on, keep it going. Get your get your big league out. We got to finish the set, or at least get some brewers. All right, let's do it. So far, so far, my camera's uh, giving me good luck. Oh no! All right. So, first card up, Zach Collins from the White Sox. That was my auto from a couple weeks ago. Oh, that's right. Kevin Biggio, uh, Blue Jays. You're getting these young kids so far. Uh-oh. 
Let's see, did we completely lose him? Or am I the one? Angela, are you there? I'm here. Okay. All right, so it's Michael that froze up on us. All right. Um, in the meantime, uh, Angelo, can you get your pack ready? Yeah, I got my pack ready. All right, go ahead and open your pack, and we'll we'll see what happens if uh, when Michael comes back. All right. So kicking it off with Ahmet Rosario. We got Jose Barrios. Zach Granke. Catal Marte. Andrew Benetiendi, Defensive Wizards, Bryce Harper. Okay. Orange Parallel is Charlie Morton. Steven Strasburg. Giancarlo Stanton. And running it out with Andrelton Simmons. So, so oh, dry. No we, we're dry. Oh, my gosh. I got eight cans of beer. I got to, you know, I'm going to drink them all tonight, obviously. Especially all those eight. Eight, it's eight and nine percenters, you know. It's not gonna drink itself. All right, let's see what we got here in my pack. Starting. Oh, okay, he's coming back. All right, go ahead and finish your pack. Angel opened his. Someone decided right now is a, a great time to play some Netflix. So, <laughs> um, uh, Carlos Carrasco. Sorry about that, guys. You know what? Make it be the comeback player of the year, like Carlos Carrasco. All right. Exactly. Lourdes Gurriel Jr. Tatis Jr. flipping out. Right. Just like Michael Mondrag is just flipping out. Yeah, trust me. I was flipping out on it. Oh, oh, I know. Daniel oh, Murphy. Wow. Victor Robles. Jose Abreu, the MVP of this yeah. year. And this guy. which yeah. is, you guys yeah. know. He's doing all right. So Angel already did his pack, so head over to me. And uh, we'll get going here. All right, we got. And by the way, still no Brewers, Michael. That's insane. All right, Chris Archer. Uh, highlight card of Pete Alonzo. Finally, we are not driving Let's anymore. Go. We're get our beer on with Kesson Hirora. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. It's about time. I got seven and a half beers to go tonight of, of what <laughs> I got here. All right, we got Marcus Stroman. Nomar Mazada. Uh, my roll call card is Mr. Max Muncy. Let's see here. Uh, my orange uh, is a 2019 wins leaders, which is Steven Strasburg, Max Fried, and Clayton Kershaw. Elvis Andrews. Uh, highlight card of Bryce Harper. And look at this. I got two. Ryan yeah, Braun. Yeah, finally. Make up for Ooh, it. Time. All right. Even though it's Ryan Braun, it's okay. That's It's fine. In this case, it counts. <laughs> it might be tainted. All right. So, um, Have Angela oh, go I, first. yeah, Angela, go first. Not a lot of high cards in my pack. Zach Granke, 217 is the high out of a 300 set. All righty. Great. All right, uh, Carlos Carrasco, the, the thing that – first one to come back, 276. All right. Uh, I have um, – well, I have two that could be – I'll show off the high one. Uh, Bryce Harper is number 290. Oh, look at that. You got to get those highlight cards. That's Those highlight cards seem to be the end of the set. Yep. yep. I'll gladly take that. All right, so you're up on the uh, wild card. No, I got to figure out the wild card here. All right. Oh, goodness, goodness, goodness. Is this uh, top of the class going in the wild card? Um, I use I use it for next week. We're gonna use it yeah, for one sure. round. Okay. We're gonna cool. just use Perfect. yeah. We're gonna use the um. Where's use our bag? If I can find my bag, I got so many cards all over the place here. All right, where is my bag? My bag of goodies. Oh no, I'm gonna spill everything. There I recently I recently made a purchase at Baseballism and they updated the bag. So all right, on. I'm still using my old one, but oh, they have a they have a new one. They have a new one. It's like a Americana style. It's navy blue and. Oh, has cool. a red, white, and blue uh, a baseball man logo. It's pretty cool. Nice, nice. All right, I thought of a weird one just now. So we're gonna go with players' last name from that starts with letter A through M. Oh wow, A through <laughs> M. Interesting. Right. 
I think I'm like, I don't know why it didn't occur to me, so I got it sounds good. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh, 2020 Pro, uh, pro Debut. All right. Oh, this will be interesting. And I, I got to make sure I have my Brewers my brewers affiliates ready. I usually try to have that ready when we go to this. Let's see. Luckily, I'm pretty quick on the draw here because I haven't drank enough yet. All right. Let's see here. We've had some great cards, too, um, uh, amongst all these. All right. That's starting funny. off from the Oklahoma City Dodgers, uh, Kbert Ruiz. So R does not count. Looking for, I said A through M. All right. I got from the Lake Elsinore Storm, local guy, local team here. Uh, Luis Camposano. So there we go. There's one from the uh, AZL Rangers, Ryan Garcia. So I said A through M. That's two. Uh, let's see here from the uh, this is that Copa series, the Copa de la Diversion. He, uh, this is from the Seth Martinez. So that counts from the Mata Moscas de Medesa. Not to look at that card. That's a cool little insert right there. Wow. Yeah. So that's three. Uh, next from the Hudson Valley Renegades. I'll make sure that, okay, that's not affiliate for them. Uh, Greg Jones. So there we go. Got another one. So I was going pretty good for me. Uh, for the GCL Mets, Francisco Alvarez. So that's an A. I'll take that. Mm -hmm. uh, from the Rome Braves, uh, Shea Langoliers. Nice. I was going to say. All right. That's good. And lastly, from the uh, Montgomery Biscuits, Joe Ryan. <laughs> wow. Joe Ryan. Yeah, that's his name. Joe oh, Ryan. Interesting. Talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> Angelo. All right. So A through M. How many yeah, did you get? Name, first of the last name. I got one, two, three, four. I got six. That's Jeez, not bad at all. Hopefully I don't get a four card pack right now, bro. Oh no, yeah. <laughs> and he feels in, like like oh, what's the thickest pack I got here? Hey, and, you know what? Four cards. I got for a relic. Oh and, no. And I got a five card pack. Wow. Right. Relic wins. Relic yeah. you me out. Still got that. Well, I'm not sure if there's any. Let's let's look at the odds on this one because I I believe this this Donruss <laughs> is is a Dollar Tree product. So oh. I don't think I don't think there'll be any relics. Well, five cards. I was like, bigger that's gonna be, you know. Yeah. No, I, I believe the the regular Donruss is a, a Dollar Tree. Because uh, when I when I bought this, I bought a lot. It was a lot of like ten packs. So. Thank you, Colin. At the end of the show, everyone has to uh, recite the alphabet backwards. Oh jeez. <laughs> oh jeez. At the end of the show. Now we're right. So it's, it's it's not an A through M last name, but it sure is a Brewer. Chris yeah. Singer. Yeah. See, we win. <laughs> and boy do these really look like dollar tree cards <laughs> yeah nick senzel uh bobby bradley b or b squared wow. is listed there hey, so i got I like one b squared bobby bradley you got one at least there you go aj puck rated rookie and uh edwin rio so i got one. Oh, oh wow okay was that bobby bradley an insert because it was like a different color to it um yeah it's it's a yellow parallel and it has the nickname instead of his yeah that's cool i think that's a cool looking card there the rated rookie is the rated rookie an insert as well uh no it's just i think it's just okay. the um no it's number 49 okay i was just curious because that was what made don russ kind of famous almost in the 80s was doing the rated rookie thing right and our good, huge good, in like 688 good friend of the show excalibur with frequently wore his rated rookie shirt at pwg yeah. shows uh, which yeah. i pop yeah. for every time yeah <laughs> yep you see you should see his oriole shirt he has a great oriole oriole shirt <laughs> it's the yep. bird with the bat um <laughs> uh, it, it's a it's the oriole bird with that over shoulder it says f face like the uh the billy ripping card you know all right, so here we go. So I'm gonna go. Uh, this is so A through M, correct? Yeah. Yes, sir. I was gonna say A through L, but I said A through M, and I'm like, all right. And I think I worked out because I actually had an M in the back. <laughs> oh, oh, I, I have got, eight. Got a good one. I have eight with Ooh. stadium club. Oh, you have Beautiful. eight. It looked thicker. I was like, ah. Oh. Yeah. Sorry. So let me. That's uh... what she said. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. All right. Sorry. Here we go. 
2020 Stadium Club. I love these cards. So oh, I want to see these. I, all right. I, oh, they... So oh, Jack so Flaherty. Cool. These are all super cool photography. So Flaherty, yeah. obviously, yeah, one. that's one. Steven Strasberg. Ah, oh. that is not in. Aroldis Chapman. There you go. In. That is in there. That's, that's, that's cool. cool cards. That's I know they're so amazing. They're really so you can't really tell as much because they're super glossy too. Yeah. So these are beautiful. Uh Jalen Davis. Oh, there you go. You're doing good here. Yeah. yeah so I got three. Uh David Dahl. Oh, there you go. In the Rockies. So I'm doing good. Got four. Uh Zach Collins. Ooh, uh -oh. that's, that's White Sox. Right there. Uh -oh. That's your uh, that's your red parallel too. Buddy. Yeah, that's, that's oh cool. right on. You can, you can see like the little red stadium. Oh right on, that's there. cool. Yep, like that a lot. Ooh, just made this one. Nomar Mazzara. Ooh, you know that's funny. Like I said, I got an M as well. So I have six, and you're at five, right? No, it's six. I think. Is it six? Let's see. One, two, five. three, four, five, six. Oh, sorry, my bad. And I could win with this one, but I won't. It's Luis Robert. Oh, but that's a great Lou card. Bob. Come that's on. a good card, Lou Bob. Really good yeah. card. Great card. So, All right, tiebreaker, Michael. We're going to get a big league baseball and go low card. Let's do it. So we're doing it simultaneously, correct? Yeah, just low okay. card. Unless you get something special in there. Ready? Oh, you're already ripping it open. <laughs> All right. God, I want to. I'm like, I didn't I do got a, a good brewer. Yeah, I got, I got Yelich, so you can Take drink if you're, if you're playing with. Oh, that. geez. I'm looking. At, I'm looking for a brewer first. Gosh. Okay, I got oh, my uh, haterade. There you go. So oh, let's drink up. Let's drink up before we do this. So um, yeah. I have my low card. I'm still trying to drink. Uh oh. <laughs> Sorry. Um, uh, obviously, inserts don't count. We talked about that. Yep. Uh oh, this is not looking good for me. Uh, oh, this is. Oh, you. Yeah, I'm sure you got me on this. Think so. I can guarantee it. My low card is 88. <laughs> oh wow. Yeah. Oh yeah. So my low card is my orange parallel, JT Real Muto, 52. God, see, that's not really a great one either. But God, it's you terrible. I thought I would. I thought oh, I was. Done. I look going. I know I didn't win. <laughs> you know what? We're all winners here. We Except are. We're all winners here. Little little baseball, baseball. And that was, that was, that was a lot of fun. Except for me, I took all else today. <laughs> but Angela, you you could walk away with this. The way that we're structuring it next week, you could yeah. like steamroll us. It's going to be the Cinderella story. You the know, Cinderella kid. The Cinderella story, the unknown. <laughs> the unknown. The 18th hole. <laughs> if you're a Caddyshack fan, um, oh. and and uh, that was a, a we're, reference. We're mostly the right audience. Hopefully, Angela knows what we're talking about. Angela, do you know yeah. do you know Caddyshack? Love All Caddyshack. Right, make sure. Make sure. <laughs> would Would you have known the reference had we not mentioned it? No. The Cinderella okay. Kid. No. It's just like the Cinderella story. The Cinderella yeah. story. The Cinderella story. It's in, it's in the hole. It's in the hole. It's in the hole. There you go. Okay. I just, I, I still can't get over how cheap these go. <laughs> <laughs> well, think about how long it took to take off every uh, logo, every yeah. every instance of, yeah. of you know, re any reference of any team. And, oh, it's, and I'm thinking well, it's like, like this, especially this one. Especially the, the Bobby Bradley looks like he's wearing a plain t shirt. Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's just I mean, they don't have like, licensing. I mean, at I least this, cards. like the jersey numbers on there, whatever. Yeah. But like, what what I've noticed in in a lot of Panini right. or Donruss product is they get a lot of uh, shots of the back of their jerseys, which you can't really tell. Right, but, right. Yeah. But obviously, they're I mean they're saving those shots for the Prism series and the right. Optic series, not your Dollar Tree Donruss twenty twenty <laughs> Dollar Tree. <laughs> I love I, I my gosh, I have a reason to go to Dollar Tree now. Yeah. All right, so let's go to. Oh, it's time. It it's time. Oh yeah, it's time. Oh, I I got to. I got to share my beer. What it's time to do? I'm gonna get the two scene. This is probably the most well known beer that they make, as far as I know. This is one I've seen before. But now, oh oh no, 
<laughs> what is what we got? Yes. Here? So this is the name game. Obviously, it's not uh, Banana Fana Fofana. No, it's not. It's not that. I don't. I'm not a big fan of that song. Uh, but baseball uh, Christmas names. So when I started doing this, I'm like, hey, I wonder if there's any uh, baseball or you know you know other related names in baseball so i think this will be a fun game to play there actually was a christmas name <laughs> steve christmas uh had a cup of coffee for the uh, reds the white Sox, and Cubs. Where's my buffalo bison's hat i got buffalo bison's hat somewhere yes and uh i love i love the uh 83 white Sox uh God, jersey there oh i mean talk hard. about this looks like a softball team talk about like uh dollar tree this looks yeah. like very dollar tree-esque I so is that the 83 card? It is, right? I believe so. I believe this is the only card I could find. I, I found another one from the Reds, but I don't even know if it's like a real card. He didn't wow, even so like get the anything. majors and they didn't even make a, he didn't even get on the major league sets of cards. Yeah. Wow. And he hit, and he hit a home run. Can you imagine like, it, uh, that would be so awesome to say like, I, you know, I made it to the major leagues and I had a, I had a home run. And I still I'm, don't yeah. think he hit, I think it's an inside the park home run. It can't be like over the fence. <laughs> he's a catcher. Come on. He's a catcher. Get out of here. He probably hit one over like the right feel wall in boston or something you know what i mean just like a right boss. i i like that he actually missed a year in 85 and actually uh get then got a cup of coffee with the uh cubs in 86 that's pretty awesome well he's a catcher so you know he probably had a that's chance. true that's probably true more chances than others probably would have been yeah. my, my goal for a long time was to be a bullpen catcher that would have been, been awesome <laughs> i would have done that if forever so Al Clough <laughs> played with the Tigers from 19, 1913. Actually has one strikeout. Can you imagine being the only person that, that struck out to Al Clough? <laughs> oh Was it me? I, I, very well could have been. 1913? If you zoom in on that photo, that's Kevin in the upper deck. Right there. <laughs> 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 okay, so at least I'll be here. That's good. Wanting a rematch for sure. Jamie Carroll. Oh, yeah, I, I, yeah. You wouldn't, you wouldn't have expected <laughs> that one. Uh, I like that he also played. He played with the Expos and then made the transition. I wonder if he played in Puerto Rico. Was it Puerto Rico they played in? Uh, they I, played. Yeah, I think I they played half so. a season in Puerto Rico yeah. as well. Mm -hmm. I wonder if he was a part of that. But uh, I remember him more for the Dodgers when he came. Yeah, to that's the why me too. Yeah. That's where I remember him. Yeah, that's a pretty long career though. I thought yes. so too. Pedro Feliz, <laughs> yes. Circle back to my story. That's so funny. Yeah. Now, I, 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 you actually probably know of him, Angelo, from your, your he, early days. No, he's yeah, saying he, he told a story about yeah, him. Yeah, I won this. He won me that the. AMF oh, that's right. Yeah. I totally forgot about that. Yeah. I, 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 duh. That's what I was like. I thought it was a coincidence. Like that's a great coincidence. Good job. Yeah, that's that's super awesome. I did. I didn't even put two and two together. 140 home runs, and one of them got Angelo. You know, a radio. Yeah, and I'm. That's right. That's right. And uh, he actually ended with the Cardinals. I remember him. The uh, the Cardinals getting him, and then he never played for them. Actually, he played uh, like maybe a couple of games, and they got rid of him. I can't remember why exactly, but um, he was actually a pretty sought after player. Uh, a sought after player, as was this guy, J.D. Yeah, Nell. There you go. <laughs> now I w I'm going to ask you both. You guys are both Angel fans. Um, this this man actually had a very, uh, I, I wouldn't say historic, but a, a very infamous thing that happened that he was a part of. And it wasn't as an angel, but it happened at Angels Stadium. This is during the World Series? It is. Yeah. It is. So, yeah, that was Dusty Baker's kid. <laughs> who was yeah, getting who was a bad boy at the time i forgot that jt snow was the guy uh who actually <laughs> saved his life essentially yeah. that could have been really a lot worse um, oh yeah oh my goodness yes but there he is he actually played for uh for cal yeah wow yep. and i i wasn't aware of that i would if i would have known that that would have been uh cool trying to remember what's his father's name because his father was a famous uh player in the nfl right is that am I or am I thinking of somebody else? A JT Snow? Yeah. Oh, I I'm not aware of that. If that's right, a, hang on, that's I don't, I'll, I'll look you're, this up while uh while you're, you're talking. The you're the senior research analyst, so um, I know, I know. That's why I'm like, wait a minute. Unless I'm mixing up my players, and I could be because you know I I just opened up the second beer. So I, I, I wasn't I wasn't aware that um 
I, like I said, I might be thinking of somebody else, but uh, Jack Snow. He Jack was a Snow. Former NFL player. For the Rams. No yeah. kidding. Yeah, that's what it was. I'm like, I knew I knew his dad somewhere. I think he played in the <laughs> USC as well. <laughs> so there you go. No. Ari and Tobias says, Cal Worthington, no. Cal <laughs> Snow, no. Cal <laughs> Snow. That's a couple <laughs> Jack answer. Get out of here. <laughs> he, uh, he almost had it. He, so close. Yeah. Ed says points for that one. For I'm sorry, uh, he went to Notre Dame. I was thinking yeah. USC, but he played. He went to Notre Dame. But he played with the Rams. Yeah. Uh, what What years did he play with the Rams? I'm sorry, uh, with Notre Dame. Uh, 62 to 64. Oh wow. Okay, because I was like, I was trying to think of who else played for Notre Dame. I'm like, uh, did he play with Joe Montana? No. No, 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 no. Because no, no. I mean, no. The would have been. Yeah, it would have been earlier. He played yeah. in the NFL for 10 years from 65 to 75. Wow. Yeah. Uh, right. Local boy. Look yep. at that. Look at that. That's awesome. Thanks, Ed. All right. So uh, next one is John Garland. <laughs> Another <laughs> player who is actually pretty decent, as I remember. He actually had some uh, some good runs with uh, yeah, look at a that. lot of good Thir teams. 13 year career. Yeah. As a, as a pitcher, you yeah. can't complain about that. Yeah. yeah, yeah he you... was on the uh, 05 uh, World Series team. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, then went to the Angel. I don't remember I, him being with the Angel. I don't do I. It sounds like one of those one-year angel contracts that doesn't work out, and it's like, all right, bye. <laughs> yeah, and a pitcher contract, no, no yep. less. Yep. They definitely, um, but yeah, he had a, um, he had some it's good stats. A long career, yeah. Of course, got to go with Matt yeah. Holiday, who actually, as I look back at his uh, his career stats, pretty pretty impressive. Uh, oh, not Hall yeah. of Fame stats, but but definitely solid. I think that. Um, I won't say injuries. Um, injuries probably at the end, but um, yeah, he was a super That's solid a long, player. That's a pretty long career, though. You know, he played 14 years. You know, yeah, he had a terrible uh, year for the Athletics. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that basically yeah. led to him going to the Cardinals for cheap. For, uh, for you, yeah, for, 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 <laughs> yeah, it worked for out nothing. great for me. Yeah, yeah, because he played. Uh, yeah, he was uh, definitely uh, beloved there. Now I'm going to end with uh, this one. And uh, this one, this one's special to me because, uh, as an older guy, uh, I don't think people understand how awesome this is and how how great this is that I, I get to talk about this. Milton Bradley. Yes. Now it doesn't seem like a Christmas themed name. But how, but but how you, many? But, but how many gifts under the tree are going to be manufactured by Milton Bradley <laughs> with this logo on it? Yeah. yeah, exactly. So if you're not familiar with Milton Bradley, um, and, and and I'll come back to the slide of actually who the player was. Um, these are the games uh, growing up that um, you may recognize a lot of them. Uh, so, yeah. So uh, I, I played Hungry Hunger Hippos, of course. Oh, yeah. Simon. I actually have a Simon up here, but I don't, I'm not <laughs> sure if it works or not. I actually do have one. Uh, obviously Twister and Yahtzee, uh, some good, commercials. some good commercials when I was a kid seeing some of these games, you know, battleship was one of those games where you played and actually it wasn't electronic battleship. If oh. you played the original one where you just put the pegs yep. in there, yeah. you actually had to trust the other person that they weren't lying. Oh, see, I see. I, I guess I was too honest, but the electronic one was great because you press the button and you find out if you're right or not. Like, that's, that's it, it, cool that was the thing. whole thing. But yeah, so so some some good stuff here. But I want to go back to um, yeah. Um, I, yeah. I already see a typo. I see the Indians. I actually that was to be politically correct. I didn't you're supposed to, to put a uh, Cleveland baseball team. Cleveland baseball team for sure. But actually, uh, Milton Bradley actually played for a lot of teams. <laughs> There's a reason yeah, why he, he played for a lot of teams. Hey, and, come on, uh, good utility player. But this is the reason why he's possibly the angriest man in baseball. Angelo, <laughs> do you have any history of Milton Bradley in the major leagues? God, I do. Absolutely. I mean, I do know him as kind of being a journeyman in baseball and, and having a temper. Um, and you probably find him in, in this predicament more often than not. Um, I'm, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure if the wind blew the wrong way, he'd argue with mother nature. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Yes. Yeah. And, and there's, there's, so many, there's so many great Whoa. photos of him. Oh my God. Look how scared that umpire looks. I know. Hey, he's, he's like, it's not even going in his direction. 
It's the so old if, cover. So if you look in our uh, beer baseball broadcast uh, references, there's actually a pin comment that's in our uh, YouTube. So that's our playlist. There's actually um, a playlist of, of Milton Bradley melting down. Uh, there's also uh, Messy Marvin in there, but there's also Christmas in July. But but the thing that's awesome about Milton Bradley is, um, and it was actually this, when he was playing for the Padres. So this is the one I totally remember 100%. Anger. So as you see here, manager Bud Black is actually out there. This is a Sunday game in September. I think it's September 23rd, 2007. So meaningless to the 2000s. Meaningless. Yeah. The, I mean, uh, the Padres, I think at the time, he was actually instrumental in bringing them back. Uh, they were actually con contending at that time, and he was a big reason for it. But, of course, his temper got in the way. So something Four, happened five, where uh, I think it's at first base. Now, there's there, I tried to look up the, the video of this, and there's there's no video that exists. Uh, because I'm sure they're trying, MLB is trying, probably trying to, to hide it or whatever. Yeah. So the one thing that, that I remember about this was that Bud Black is trying to hold him back. So as he's doing so, he's holding him back. In the process, Milton Bradley kind of gets spun around. He tore his ACL. Oh my God. And ended his season. And he, he, he didn't play again for the Padres. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is awesome. In continuing with our our theme, what was the umpire's name that he was fighting with? No. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, Enrico Palazzo. I wish it was Enrico Palazzo, <laughs> but that is not Christmas themed. I know, I know. Gosh, I. I know, I'm, I'm not gonna. I have I'm, no I, clue. Of course, Mike no. Winters. <laughs> of course. You know, I know every umpire in baseball. You know, if I don't know his name, that's a good sign. You know what I mean? Exactly. Yeah. Uh, the more I find out about umpires, that there's, there's actually like YouTube threads on like people that, like Angel Hernandez and, you know, oh, it's like, oh, yeah, there's some 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 bad ones. And, uh, you know, yeah. Joe West and stuff like that. So uh, some of their other things. Don't too. get Top Gun Tall or all riled up. All right. Come on. That's yeah. Good on that. So Mr. Soup says, uh, Carlos Umbrano, Carlos Perez, and Niger Morgan. We should do a whole thing, a segment on Niger Morgan, man. That, <laughs> that, oh my God, to see his meltdowns are amazing. Uh, we always talk about Al Alba Bell, so, you know, <laughs> Alba Bell had quite the temper as well. Yeah, Milton Taz Bradley is, is definitely, uh, definitely accurate. So I, I want to give some honorable mentions to um, uh, Dick Pohl, uh, played on the Red Sox, <laughs> <laughs> and Rob Deere, uh, who did not who did not, did not make the cut, but they actually made the cut here. Well, look at look how red his face is. He almost is like Rudolph. <laughs> Why is he so red? <laughs> oh, hold on, Rob Deere, that's a brewer. Drink up, ladies and gentlemen. There you go. All right, that that is a great way to end right there. Salud. Yeah. So um, again, we're on Patreon, Patreon, uh, Beer Baseball. Look us up, but don't support us until uh, the first of January. Get that full uh, full month of support. Yeah. We're on Etsy at Beer Baseball. Look us up. We have uh, uh, some some magnets. We have some uh, buttons. Um, a lot of other sure. stuff that uh, we oh, think that you would like to help us support us. I think that you have some uh, beer coasters there, I, Kevin. I, need, I don't know where my coaster is. I'm like, what yeah, happened? I need. I what actually happened? need to send you guys some uh, one so you guys have them there. I, I usually do. I don't know where it went. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you know, thank you and like and subscribe. Uh, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitch. We will be here next uh, Tuesday with our end year end show. Can you believe it? We've met it to. Uh, Year end, year end extravaganza. Oh my god! And it, it's go, it's going to be a good I one. Throw confetti and just throw it around my apartment. Confetti. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, um, so it's going to be baseball card pack wars the whole show. Yep. And then we're also going to have our top three beer, uh, baseball blog, um, beers of the year. Yes, sir. So from all three of us. So um, that's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, Kevin, did you have anything that you would like to plug? 
Um, if you want to follow when I'm getting into, go to, uh, you can look me up on Twitter and Instagram at Lock and Lowell. That's L-O-K-N-L-O-L-L. And sorry, Michael, I'm going to plug you again. Not, not you know, plug your stuff because if you go to beerbaseball.com, if you go to Amazon, there's an Amazon affiliate there. But if you don't have another affiliate that you use, bookmark that. So that way, whenever you shop on Amazon, it doesn't cost you anything extra. But a little kickback will come back to the Beer Baseball blog. There's a lot of sites that do it. If you're not using one already, just do that. You know, it, it would really help the show out. And like I say every week, support your local brewery, support your small business, and support minor league baseball, please. Yeah, thank you so much. Yeah, uh, we don't plug our – we actually have a website. So if you miss yeah. any of the shows, uh, you can actually go to beerbaseball.com. Um, we actually have some other uh, cool stuff on there. We're actually – I'm actually working on a whole bunch of affiliates – so, like, I've been working on the Hat Club. Uh, the Dugout Mug is another one that I'm working on. Um, we actually got – uh, we didn't get approved yet uh, for – is it Homage? Hom homage. 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 Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so I'm working on that. Um, I'm also working on Ebbetsfield Flannels. Uh, so we have a lot of ways that you can help support us, and I will put them in our affiliates. Uh, so definitely check that out. Uh, that it just helps us. Um, just do some fun stuff and we're, we definitely have a lot of plans for 2021. Uh, but yeah, thank you, Kevin. I really appreciate that. Oh, Angelo, do you have anything that you want to promote? Yeah. Two things. First, we got three days left till Christmas. So if you're looking for any great additions to your Christmas playlist, uh, you can find uh, my rendition of, uh, the Christmas song, chestnuts roasting on an open fire on iTunes and the Google play store for just 99 cents. Um, and I wanted, I announced earlier on social media, uh, but this Sunday, uh, December 27th at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, uh, I'm going to be linking up with Big Teach 45 on Twitch.tv and on Facebook Live. Um, I've been known to jump in on his uh, Call of Duty Warzone streams. We're going to be doing the first ever wifey Warzone, where my wife, uh, Big Teach's fiance, and Mark, uh, Mark and, and Big Teach were all on the uh, base, uh, the baseball uh, hoppy hour. Uh, with the Dodgers championship celebration. Uh, our significant others will be jumping into Call of Duty Warzone trios for the very first time. So it should be fun and entertaining. Uh, we're also going to be um, uh, using it as an opportunity to um, donate to a charity. So we'll have a donation link throughout the entire stream. Uh, the charity we'll be supporting is um, The Rich at Heart, uh, which is a, a local nonprofit organization that assists uh, with uh, students with disabilities. And what they do is they help uh, teach job and life skills that they can apply uh, once, they, uh, once they're out of school. Um, the richatheart.org is the website. Come support a great cause. Come have some fun with all of us. Uh, it'll definitely be entertaining. Uh, and, uh, and I'll be moderating uh, the chat on Facebook Live. Um, and um, I'll tell you, a sneak peek behind the curtain, uh, I took... Uh, my wife through the war zone orientation and the battle royale practice. Um, and uh, let's just say it'll be interesting. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a lot of fun. I know that, um, you know, this has been a, a really adverse year. So finding these outlets that we can actually not only, I mean, the beer baseball broadcast is a perfect example of like extending something we probably wouldn't have done for a long time. And actually um, this has been, Amazing. I can't believe what our next show will be our 35th of the year. Uh, I'm looking forward to 52 next year. Um, mm -hmm. we'll, we'll, we'll see how that goes. Like with your age. Like, wait a minute. You're not there yet. <laughs> soon, soon enough, soon enough. But, but, but yeah, but, but also it, it's interesting also because we can include, you know, other people into what we do. And, um, I love that you've done the spouse thing. Uh, because I, I think that's really super important. Uh, my girlfriend says all the time that, that, uh, that I would love to be a part of your beer baseball broadcast. I said like, but her, her baseball knowledge only goes up to 96 and David justice. So, uh, <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> I, I still would love to have her here, but, um, but that's great that you include the spouses. I think that's really tremendous yeah. and definitely something that needs to be done. Um, yeah. So, uh, w what day is that again? So that'll be uh, Sunday, December 27th, 6 p.m. Pacific, uh, twitch.tv slash Big Teach 45 or Facebook, uh, Big Teach 45, uh, Instagram at Big Teach 45. Um, Michael shared the link earlier on the Beer Baseball uh, Facebook. So 
uh, hit any one of us up. We'd love to have you guys join in and, and participate in the comments and in the chat um, and uh, looking to raise money for a good, for a good. <laughs> oh, no. oh man. Yeah. But, but and, uh, th 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 with this comment, it may be, you know, you maybe have it as a December thing. So you don't have to yeah. worry about it for 11 months. Right. Yeah. Like, yeah. Money raised and it's going to be like, we're going to do this once a month. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, and, and, and let's, and, you know, let's, let's raise money for a good cause. So yeah. Exactly. Um, yeah. yeah I mean, this is, this, this is really great. Uh, I mean, they, you know, it's, it's, with with students with disabilities once they're out of school um they're they're kind of you know th th that's kind of it from a from a from a leadership and, and a guidance standpoint uh, so this really helps them uh you know uh, apply life or teaches and trains them life and job skills maybe something that they wouldn't be able to necessarily pick up in a classroom uh, to help them as they as they move forward and, and help them be a little bit more independent so i love it I lo and what's the best way we can support you uh, so uh, for big T for at big teach 45 um, you know like and subscribe uh, the YouTube channel and subscribe to the twitch channel uh, for uh, that stream in particular there'll be a donation link that will be live tracking throughout the stream for that particular uh, organization so donate what you can uh, if you're able to and just come and hang out and have a good time so uh, the, and then the, and uh, again that, it'll be fun on the 27th at 6 p.m right yeah i think that's uh tremendous uh i'm actually gonna to make a uh banner right here so yeah definitely check this out that's it twitch.tv big teach 45 yep. uh well def i'll definitely uh be supporting you and uh looking forward to it uh I, I, and actually as i look as i look forward i'm like oh my god what is it's saturday what is what is friday what is what is yesterday what is today uh, friday's christmas <laughs> i know that much yeah <laughs> you know what i know next week because i'm on jury duty next week <laughs> oh my god that's right is that still happening i i'll find out i'm on call for a week <laughs> it's crazy originally the card said i was supposed to report the courthouse on christmas day i'm like that is hilarious you know i'm like that's gotta be wrong and yeah, yeah. i'm on call next week Oh, well, ready to go on a murder trial for a month. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin, you're doing your civil duty, your civic duty. That's and, right. Uh, sir. Yeah. So thank you for joining us tonight. We really appreciate it. Please join us Tuesday. Next Tuesday. We can't wait. It's going to be our year end show. Please um, do what you can to support us. And uh, we thank you so much. Good night. We love you. And, and Merry Christmas to you. Good night.